you've heard folks dabbling in, in sub-threshold before. It's easy to get working in a lab. Um, it's super hard to get it working in real world situations. In the real world, you're, you, you can't tell your user, hey, your watch is getting too warm, stay out, right? It has to work when you're running, when you're in the sun, when you're in the shade. It has to work when the battery is fully charged and when it's not, you know, those voltage variations have to be taken into account. And, you know, you're printing thousands of parts on a little, on a, on a wafer. So making all of those parts run uh, equally well uh, in this domain is also difficult, right? So, so these are the problems that Ambic has solved and productized in, as a way of productizing a sub-threshold. And the payoff is you get that 16x better performance.